Hey everybody, I'm Dominic from Me DIY. Now check this out. In this house here, we have this big foyer here, and we got this long, long hallway, which is pretty dark. I mean, uh, I mean, close that door there. I mean, look, look, it's pretty dark. You know, you turn the light on, boom. Okay, but like, you know, a nightlight, you know, is really not doing here, and uh, put a nightlight uh, down in this foyer here. You know, you got an L-shaped staircase. It's pretty big. And when I come in at night, it's like, I don't want to turn a big chandelier on, you know, like, like light the whole house up or even going downstairs, you know, in the middle of the night. <clears throat> so like, I know light, a little light would be nice. Usually I'm using my cell phone and like trying to find my way here. Uh, and again, the hallway. Now this is daylight out. I mean, the sun's not like blasting in right now, but it's still, you know, what, like 11 o'clock in the afternoon or morning. Uh, so what I was thinking was getting... <laughs> <clears throat> one of these light, a light like this, putting it up here, you know, with a very dim bulb, and maybe do another one further down the hallway like this, okay? But now, a uh, question comes when I do that, I can need a light switch, right? Uh, you know, usually a three-way or a four-way, one at the bottom of the stairs, one up over here. Oh, geez, well, what's the sense of that? You must just turn all the lights on. Well, I figured, what I'm going to do is put those two lights there and use a photo cell, which is like dust to dawn, and perhaps mount a box right up on this wall here with that sensor looking out of this big window here. Uh, and that should give it enough light during the day, uh, you know, to, to stay off, but later on at night uh, to go on. And I can put it up here and I, I could adjust it accordingly. So, without further ado, Let's get up in the attic and start cutting some holes and from running some wire. We'll show you how to wire. Pretty simple. All right, well, what I did do, I uh, used a stud finder to find my studs. So I want to go in between them because what we're doing is using a remodel box slash old work box. You know, one of these boxes here, these little tabs are going to come out, which I'll show you in a bit. So basically, I want to get my right height where for, for that, my particular light. I think right here is pretty good. I mean, it's not a science to figure out where it is. However, I do want the other one to match whatever height it is. So simply with the remodel box, put it around, mark it out, simple, like that. All right, like that, clean it up a little bit. And now I'll use a keyhole saw and I'll cut that hole. Now, now you might be thinking, well, why would I want to cut the hole without the wire? Well, I got the hole, which is important that it goes between the studs. So I can go up in the attic with, the, uh, with a, a measurement uh, adjacent to somewhere here, probably the end of the wall, where I can see up in the attic. And then I can drill down for my measurement right here and get my wire right in, the, right in this bay between these studs instead of uh, in the wrong bay or right on top of a stud. So now I'm going to cut this hole and get up in the attic and drill it down. All right, well, lucky enough, I drilled it right. I mean, if you look down in the hole there, you can see the light coming in from that, that hole that I made. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I did that first. So now I know I'm right there. So now I just gotta start right, I just wanna show you guys quickly. This wire coming up from my wall, and it's all coiled up here. This is a non-energized uh, feed that I had actually installed uh, quite a while ago uh, for this purpose, knowing that uh, in case I need more power up here or if I want to do those lights, that I actually have it. Now, where you're going to get it, uh, you know, basically the same way. Drill down to a existing light switch or an outlet, uh, maybe grab the power from there. That's, that's going to be the hardest thing of this whole ordeal is where you're going to get the power from. So now I'm going to run this wire uh, out and down uh, to a new hole I got to drill for our uh, photo, uh, our photo cell, or a, a light switch. I right, decided so to go that way. Right here, higher up in the ceiling, is where I marked out for our uh, little square box. Now I went upstairs, as I showed you, and I drilled the holes and I put the three wires in. Uh, our wires now are going to be our our first light that we drilled, the wire for that, our second light, and our power in. So. Long as I'm right, I don't make a 
too much of a fool out of myself in the video, I should be able to cut this open and pretty much, hopefully, reach in and grab my three wires. Hopefully. If not, better hang on to that for a good patch. Hey, I see a wire. Hopefully it's mine. I, that's a three wire. I know that's not the one. That's not it either. Ah, uh, they're over here. Uh. Hey, one. There's one, there's two more. Uh, I know that ain't it. Uh. I'm gonna have to get a hook <laughs> to get them out. But I got one, so there's one. I got that. Right, now wiring our first light here, I want to show you what, what I have here. We have our neutral tied to our neutral for our light, which is our white, our black, our, our hot, our feed there, all right? black to black. And our ground is grounded up into our wire, to the, to the box, and we have our ground screw here for our cross member. Now yours would, might be a little different, but the wiring, you can rest assured, is going to be the same. Okay. Well, we got our two lights mounted now, the one in our, overlooking our foyer here, and the one further down on the hallway. They're mounted, I tested them, the lights in them, a whole bit. Now to the really fun stuff. Now we get to wire all these wires to our photo cell. And that's really what your big question is. How do we connect all these to a photo cell, right? I mean, running the wires, drilling it, that's easy stuff. Let's get to the more, which is really easy, but more like, to the mind-blowing okay. stuff. Let me explain what this, the photo cell is. Here we are right here. And on the back of it, we're gonna have three wires. We have our white, which is our neutral, and our black, which is our power in, in this case. So you notice we have a red one, right? Where a lot of switches, you know, you just have two blacks or two screw terminals, right? Doesn't really matter which way, and it will, it will work as far as that goes. Um, okay. But on this kind of switch, we have a black, which is our power in, and our red, which is our load, which is power out. And that's real important when using these elect electronic kind of switches, either timers or whatever, that's, that's real important. And it's important that it has a neutral as well, okay? So now, we're gonna get back in this box. Now we have all our wires, we have you know, quite a few of them. We're gonna get all our grounds. We're gonna tie them together and terminate them with the wire cap. We don't have a ground on here, so we don't need it. We're gonna get all our neutrals. We're gonna tie those together and connect our neutral. Then we have our power in wire, which is gonna be connected to our black wire. Uh, then our other two black wires, which are feeding our two separate lights, are gonna be connected to our red wire, our load. Pretty simple. So. Let me go and do all this and I'll give you a close up of it. All right, now I have all the wires connected and I just wanted to show it to you once again. I have our white wire, which is our neutral for our switch, connected to all our neutrals. I have my, our red wire, which is our load wire. Now this is the wire that's coming out and providing power to our two lights. And you can see we have our two hots for our lights. Uh, oops, sorry, uh, connected to that. And then our power in is supplying our switch with the power, our black wire. And our grounds are all terminated together. So now it's gonna push all this nice and neat back in the box and put our cover on and then we can energize our power and okay. give it a try. Well, there's our lights. We've got one up here for our foyer, but one back there for our long hallway. And our sensor here that's sensing the darkness of it. Uh, actually, just turned it on. When you first turn it on, it will energize so if you give it a couple seconds here, it'll probably go off. But do we really want to be here waiting all that long? I don't. Anyway, I hope you learned something. Oh, by the way, on that photo cell here, it doesn't have to be a photo cell. Hey, there we go. It could be just a, uh, a motion sensor, uh, whatever you want to be, or just even a regular light switch. Uh, I mean, I don't want to see the, our photo cell in the middle of the wall, and that's why another reason why I put it up there. If later on I want to... Uh, put a bypass switch in, I could do that just by going lower here. Um, you could do a bypass switch, but you would need a diode in that because you can't inject power back like that because it's going to feed back and, you know, probably screw things up. Uh, not a big deal. Anyway, I hope you learned 
how to do something. I thought it was pretty cool and I needed it here. Anyway, thanks for watching.